<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video I'm going to be bringing something that a couple camps of people have asked for, and hopefully this will satisfy the both of them. First of all, I'm going to show you all how you'll be able to get some usage on your modified PS3 with XFAT and NTFS formatted USB drives. And the main thing is going to be package file installations. Yeah, you heard that right. So this is going to require a few things. First of all, it will require your modified PS3, and if you're running custom firmware or PS3 HIN, either of those will work. We're also going to be installing a couple of applications, and then of course you're going to need your USB drive. To do the initial application install, you are going to need a FAT32 formatted USB drive, and then afterwards you can use either another drive or you can reformat that same drive to NTFS or XFAT. Now the main benefit in regards to installing package files is that with a FAT32 formatted USB drive, you cannot load up any large packages on there that are over 4 gigabytes in size. So typically, you might have to split up the package file, or you'll have to transfer it over to your PS3 via FTP. This method is not going to require either of those, and that's why I like this method. Yes, you do have to install some extra stuff, but the nice thing is, you don't have to transfer your package to the network, and you also do not need to split up your package. That was going to be important to me, I really don't want to split up my package files here. So let's go ahead and move over to our PC and take a further look at this. Now before we delve into this fully, I would like to give some credit over to PSX Place user Lue, who ended up actually bringing this method to light here. This is something that's been around for a hot minute, but I didn't know about it and a lot of other people didn't until he ended up making this post here. So thank you Lue for bringing this to everyone's attention, making a nice tutorial out of this here. He does have some videos in regards to this, and there are two different methods. I'm not going to be covering method 2, as that's kind of creating an ISO for this, but method 1 is going to be the one that I am going to be covering. So again, thank you to him for outlining this method and really bringing it to the surface. Now for downloads, we're going to need to download Webman Mod and Prep ISO. So the links for these will be down below in the description. Simply download the latest build of Webman Mod and download the latest build of Prep ISO. Just find these and click on download and save those somewhere you can easily find them. So if you have not installed these before, we have Webman Mod, we have Prep ISO, and you can simply copy out both of these package files. And then you're going to need to transfer them over to a USB drive. So again, your USB drive has to be FAT32 at first, and if you've modified your PS3, you're already familiar with formatting this. But as you can see, my PS3's USB drive here is FAT32, so because that's already been set up, I'm going to come in here and paste my two package files. So those are the two applications that we're going to need. And this xdata folder, I'm going to be using that later. This is just for the licenses for the two games I'm going to be installing. So, now that that's all set up, I'm going to right click, eject this USB drive, and take it over to the PS3. Alright, so as you can see here, my flash drive is showing up. So because I'm using a PS3 HIN PS3, I do have to enable HIN first. But if you have a custom firmware PS3, you can simply skip this step. Either way, once you are able to, just go into your package manager, install package files, standard, and first install Webman Mod. Once that's complete, come back out, go to your package manager, install package files, standard, and prep ISO. That's the second one we should install. So go back, and now these are the two applications. There's Webman Mod, and there is prep ISO. So we're not going to need this just yet, but for Webman Mod, I would recommend installing the full version. And just in case you don't, you have prep ISO right here. So, just like it says in the instructions, you need to hold down L1 for the full version. So hold down L1 on your controller, and then press the X button, and keep holding down L1. Alright, so once installed, your PS3 will restart, and I'm just going to enable HIN yet again. But if it restarts, then your Webman mod should successfully be installed. We're going to see here in a few seconds though, and you'll probably hear it as well. 
So as you can see, Webman Mod has been installed and enabled, and my PS3's fan ramped up in speed. That is normal, so don't be alarmed by that. But what you can do if you want to adjust that, you can go to Webman Games, Webman Setup, PS3 Webman Setup. Now typically here, this is how your fan settings will look by default. Just so you know, Syscon is what the typical system controller is. That's just how the PS3 natively handles its fan speed. It's not as recommended to really use that. And this is so loud because you're at a manual 35% fan speed. So what I prefer to use is auto at 68 degrees. So you can tick that, go down to save, and then click here to restart your PS3. All right, so once your PS3 restarts and you enable Webman yet again, hopefully your fan should start climbing down. If it stays running and stays hot, you might need to clean out your PS3 and do a repaste, but that is for a whole different other video. It's not going to be covered here. Either way, that now we have everything set up on here. So to now install a package file, let's go ahead and move back over to our PC, and I'm going to use another flash drive for this. Now these are PSN package files which contain wrap licenses, and if you're using PS3 HIN for example, I have a full video covering how to install these, so I'm not going to go into depth with that. But one thing to know is unfortunately the package file will work, but the license file you are still going to either need to transfer over to your PS3's internal hard drive, or you'll need to load it onto a FAT32 formatted USB drive with the XData folder like I had shown in that video. So this is only going to be for the package files. Now for the package files, we have our USB drive here, and I'll even show you the properties. This is XFAT in format. And this can be anything really, it can be either NTFS or XFAT, whatever you want to do. So just to start clean, I'm going to wipe this, and I'm just going to select XFAT for this, default allocation size, and that's all okay. Again, this works on both, and it is completely up to you which file system you want to use. I'm going to close out of this, come over here, and this is how you need to set up your XFAT or NTFS USB drive. You need to right click and create a new folder and call it PKG. All one word, all uppercase. Inside of the PKG folder, this is where you're going to put your packages. So for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, I'm going to copy this out and paste it into my package folder, just like that. As for Grand Theft Auto 3, I'll open this up and copy out my package file and paste it here. So there we go, I'll let that finish transferring. And as you can see, this is also a game which is over 4.35 gigabytes in size. Just to show you all this, for example, I just popped in my FAT32 formatted USB drive here. And if I go in here and I try and paste it in, check this out, I get this error here saying FAT32 has a four gigabyte file size limit. You can split file with 7-zip. So this is exactly an example of a game which I would not be able to transfer over regularly which is why I wanted to use it as this example. So now with that transferred over, I'm just going to right click eject and move this USB drive over to the PS3. All right, so once you plug your flash drive into your PS3, of course it's not going to be recognized because this is not a format which the PS3 recognizes or supports, but this is exactly why we have prep ISO. So you can find this in two places. First of all, we install the application, so it's right here but the second place you can find it is in Webman Games, Webman Setup, and if you go down here, if you install the full version, you'll also have it here. But this is why I recommended installing it by itself as well, just in case you don't install the full version, or just so you don't have to keep going into Webman Games for this. So with the way this works, you need to plug in your USB drive, and then once you're ready, just tap the X button on Prep ISO and let it run. When it runs, it's just going to come to a black screen and then boot you back here. And at this point, if we go to Webman Games and it ran successfully, we should have some updated content in the Blu-ray and DVD section. And if we look here, check it out, it is Dev NTFS for both of these packages, which is what we are looking for. So it's a little bit odd to set up there, and anytime you add or remove package files, 
you will need to run prep ISO again because it kind of just creates a link there. So you have to update this manually whenever you update your flash drive's files. So just keep that in mind. It's also worth noting that if nothing shows up on here, that's fine. I would recommend try to restart your PS3 and then run prep ISO yet again. But either way, once we have these showing up, let's install them. So for an install, we can go to Webman Games, Blu-ray and DVD, and I'm going to pick the PS1 game first. So as you can see, it is trying to mount it, and it has now said that Resident Evil 3 Nemesis has loaded. So if we go back, we need to go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and there we go, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis shows up. Now because this is a PS1 game, it's going to install a little bit differently. So PS1 games just show this please wait screen, and you have nothing else to do but wait. So once that's done, just like any other PS1 game, you need to go back, go up to PlayStation Network content, and the package file is here, because this had to transfer over to our internal drive first. So I'm just going to let this install. And now with that done, I'm going to press back, and I'll also go back into the package manager, PlayStation Network content, and delete the PlayStation Network content package from here to save some space. But as you can see, Resident Evil 3 and Nemesis installed just fine. So now let's install that big package file of the PlayStation 2 game. So for this, you just again go into Webman Games, Blu-ray and DVD, and grab the other package. It's going to load this up here, and there we go, it says it's loaded. Once you get that message, go back, go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and Grand Theft Auto 3 shows up. So this is going to take longer because it's just over 4 gigabytes in size, but I'm just going to let this install. Alright, so that took about 20 minutes, but it just finished installing, so I'm going to go back here, and as you can see, both of our games have installed just fine. So these were both off of my NTFS formatted USB drive, and I'll show you both of them working at this point. Of course, these will have to go through the on-the-fly licensing process here with PS3 Hen, but first let's go ahead and fire up the PS1 game. Alright, so as you can see, this is the old intro sequence here, but this is working just fine. It ended up booting up and we're able to get in here with no issue. So with that, let's exit out of here and try out our PS2 game. Next up, of course, is Grand Theft Auto 3. Alright, and as you can see here, Grand Theft Auto 3 has launched and is booting up with no issue. So there we go, that was both the games that we had to install. Both of them were from my NTFS formatted USB drive, and we were able to license and run them with no issue. And that's about it, that's really all there is to it. So I know it's a little bit of a roundabout way because we need to install Webman as well as Prep ISO, but the huge benefit of doing it this method is that we don't have to worry about transferring these over network and we don't have to worry about splitting up the package files. I know there's a few methods of splitting, but I'm just personally not a fan of that. I'd rather just keep it all one file and install it this way, so it works out just fine. And now, of course, you also have Webman here, which is an excellent tool to have on the PS3 and something I definitely recommend delving further into if you haven't delved into it until now. Anyways, that's about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.